Well, let's find out, shall we? Joining me now is parenting coach Sue Atkins and Emma Wolf, author of the book An Apple a Day and a former anorexia sufferer. Good to have you both on the programme. Emma, we've just introduced you as someone who's suffered from anorexia and bulimia. I mean, no, not bulimia. Oh, but excuse me, just anorexia. Forgive me for my mistake there. Were you affected by images of, of celebrities when you were dealing with your illness? Um, I don't think that it's possible to say that anorexia is caused by the media and I would never have blamed it on the media but obviously I'm a woman growing up in the same um, kind of environment as everyone else and certainly one is um, I, th I think what the what the media and the airbrushing and photoshopping is doing is creating an atmosphere in which there's a lot of pressure on young women and women of all ages but young girls and teenage girls and younger women um, to look a certain way um, to look at sort of creating an atmosphere in which Women are ideal. The beauty is idealised. It's hairless. It's permatanned. It's you know. There's a kind of no wrinkles, no lines, nothing. So I think it's creating a very difficult environment for people, and I think for young boys as well. I think mm. young men don't know what women actually look like in real life because of magazines. That's a very good point. And Sue, I know that you you specialise in parenting. You're your a parent yourself. When mm. you when you look at your your teenage girl, do you mm. think that she's influenced and affected by the images that Emma was talking about, what she sees around her? I think she she was to a point, but then I, I'm a strong role model, hopefully, and that's just the other thing I'm trying to get parents to understand is that how you speak about your body and how you th talk about your looks and, you know, lumpy bits and all sorts of things creates a positive body image and you have self-esteem because I'm trying to help children have that inner glow that they actually understand that confidence comes from within, not externally all do the time. Do you come across children who do have low body esteem because of being bombed bombarded by thousands of adverts a day? Well, some children do, but again, your primary role model, certainly when you're very young, is your mum and your parents, you know, so how they talk about food, their body, their hair, their spots, their bits and pieces, actually is the primary role model thing that you have to actually work with the mum to get her feeling confident about it. Why I'm so interested in this whole topic, though, is about raising it. Not everybody's aware of it, and I'm a great believer in talking and teaching your kids certain things, and this pack helps people sort of open up that conversation and even coming on here and chatting about it helps parents be aware of it you know so let's talk about the pack in a bit more detail Emma I don't know if you've seen it or not do you I think it's no. a good idea what do you make of it uh, well just in terms of what Sue was just saying there I think the statistics are quite frightening that by the age of seven more than half of young girls are think they're too fat you know by the age of ten three quarters of, of young girls are on diets you know the, this mm. kind of thing we can't ignore that obviously this pack is a really really positive start but I'm also thinking about you know the world that they're involved in they're you know in the supermarket the queues the the the, the um, images on the front of closer and heat and okay mm. magazine and all of that and also you know just the women that they see on TV and film I think it it contributes to this kind of atmosphere mm. in which young people are growing up we're and just so looking actually Sue at some pictures of well mm cutouts, I should say, of, of the information pack. I mean, I think it's about 10 pages long. Mm. I mean, as a parent and, and parents that you know, are, are they really practically going to go to the internet and download a, a parenting guideline? Does it work like that? Well, I really hope they do. That's the whole point of raising awareness of it, because I think then parents don't know where to start. So if you've got something there that you can talk about together, chat about, and raise that kind of conversation and talk about, oh, well, do you think that's been touched up? Oh, I didn't realise they made fake tan and you could do that and get rid of spots and make them look slimmer on the waist this is and it's it's not patronizing what I like about it is very colorful very easy to pick up and chat with and it's all about that talking with your kids in a natural environment perhaps even around the dinner table you know don't make it a big deal but always you're passing on those values and it's teaching the kids to, in, to there's an interesting picture themselves. of Kira Knightley I don't know if we can bring it up mm. or not uh, yeah. and her advert in the UK versus her advert yeah. in the mm. States for a film and and the one in, the, in America she's airbrushed she's got a bigger bust there you can have a look at it now <laughs> yeah. um, but surely, wouldn't it be easier just for the government to ban airbrushing? Wouldn't that be a more effective way of doing it, Emma? I'm not sure that you can turn back the clock. It's like saying, let's all get rid of the internet and we'll get, get rid of our Blackberries and things. It just feels like it doesn't feel possible that we can actually do that. And also, I've been in magazines and I'm quite happy for them to, uh, to paint out, you know, the odd line or whatever. So I, I don't know. I think, we're, I think we're actually entering a kind of brave new world in which um, women well, as I write about in my book, women aren't allowed to eat, really. They're not allowed to have normal shapes, they're not allowed to have appetites, and they're not allowed to age, so I we don't know. We have to leave it there. I could talk to you all night, but I'm afraid we can't. So, Sue, thank you very much, and Emma, thank you thank very you. much for joining us as well.